The world, please look at this game. You are not able to follow it. You are not able to understand. The complexity of this game is incredible. The University of Houston's College of Engineering presents this series about the machines that make our civilization run and the people whose ingenuity created them. The scene is a remote Ethiopian village in 1940. A farmer offers his herd of 34 goats for sale. One goat is worth, say, seven dollars. The villagers don't know how to multiply, so they call in a shaman. They ask him to set a fair price for the whole herd. The shaman digs two rows of small holes in the hard, dry earth. He reaches into his sack of pebbles and he goes to work. He puts 34 stones in the first hole on the left, one for each goat. He puts half that, or 17, in the next, half 17, or 8, in the next, and so on. He keeps dividing by two and dropping the remainder until the sixth hole has only one stone in it. Now he goes on to the other row. He puts seven stones, the value of one goat, in the first hole. He puts twice that, or 14 stones, in the next hole, and so forth. Now his deliberations begin. He goes down the left-hand side, seeing whether the holes are good or evil. An even number of stones makes the hole evil. An odd number makes it good. Two holes are good. The holes next to them in the right row contain 14 stones and 224 stones. He adds those numbers together. The result is the fair market value of the herd. It's $238. You and I know about multiplication, so we multiply the number of sheep by the value of a sheep, 7 times 34. When we do that, we get $238. But that's just what the shaman got. So what in the world was all the business with the holes? And would he get the right answer with different numbers? We try it with other numbers. It works every time. So we turn to a mathematician. He says it's not at all obvious. He puzzles for a long time. Finally, he sees it. This Ethiopian shaman has created a remarkable algorithm. All that business with the holes identifies the numbers in their binary form. That lets the shaman reduce multiplication to simple addition. He's multiplied just the way a digital computer. It's a it's mathematical information, right? It's a mathematics? Mathematics. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. maths yeah. involved. Yeah. So calculating, calculations and all that. Wow. Where did his method come from? How long have his forebears carried this rote tradition? An anonymous genius lurks somewhere in the haze of his history. So we look at our own multiplication and realize that we too use ritual to find out what 7 times 34 is. It makes no more sense to most people who use it than the shaman's holes. Our multiplication algorithm was also given us by an anonymous genius. He is also lost in rote tradition. So how do we and that Ethiopian shaman differ? Well, very little, I reckon. Very little indeed. Of course, I wouldn't be surprised if he makes fewer mistakes than we do. I'm John Leanhart at the University of Houston, where we're interested in the way inventive minds work. The eye, you cannot even blink. The speed of the hand is incredible. Look at that. Look at oh. <laughs> Who's winning? Who's winning, though? Tell me who's winning. Huh? Not yet. Not yet. Wow. Tell me when you're born. Baby. Mukeso. Mueso. 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 Tell me who's going to win because I am.